Breaking news, my wonderful people. Yes, so it has finally happened. We Case Camp has taken decision, and that decision right now is to support Peter Obi. Of course, all the attempts to try to make uh, amend, to try to see to it that uh, PDP, We uh, you know, Atiku gets the picture, understands the plight of the people, seem to have fallen on deaf ear, and so when he gets when the heat gets too much is either you get burnt or you get out so they've decided to say you know what maybe it's time to take the exit the exit marks the door and this is what is happening right now ikbiaz has come out to speak on you know remember they just came back from spain yeah the meetings are not held in nigeria they have to be held outside the country so there is nobody snooping into it trying to get a peep or nobody's coming with belts and glasses that have cameras and videoing and planning out you know and in all in the name of whatever the meeting has to be outside the shores of this country so they are sure that whatever they discuss it remains among them and if it spills it's because one of them has spilled it so this is exactly what is happening right now talked about how peter obi has become the choice Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. 2023. Ikbe Azo speaks on Wiki's camp planning to support Peter Obi. Governor Ikbe Azo of Abia State has denied media reports that the River State counterpart Yes of Wiki and his allies are supporting the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi. Late Nigeria learns that five PDP governors, the People Democratic Party governors, has met recently and it was alleged that on the back of articles continuous not, article continuous not listening to the people, they will be backing Peter Obi. According to the report, the governors are aiming to support Peter Obi because they are not pleased with the presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party. Alaji Atiku Abubakar. Governor Wiki and his loyalists have insisted that the national chairman of the party, Ayo, must resign from office before they can consider supporting Atiku in the 2023 bid. Speaking in an interview with Daily Sun, Ikwe Azu stated that there was no time that the five governors of the People Democratic Party discussed Peter Obi or spoke about supporting his presidential ambition. He asked PDP members and other party supporters to disregard media reports that he and his colleagues are planning to back Obi for the 2023 presidency. He said, no, we never discussed Peter Obi in our meeting. Peter Obi is my brother and I'm proud of what he's doing. It will be a great honor and, and great honor and achievement for people who, from where he came from and from us, for him to get to this position. However, in terms of party, how am I going to discuss Peter Obi openly? How proud can a man from his side be when you see your brother running 100 meter in less than seven seconds and you, you are discussing him? No, you support him in any way. We are not discussing our party matter with others. We are only discussing issues that are particular to our party. We must kill, we must kill our cross, we must carry them. So it's not Peter Obi that is our issue right now. It's our party doing the right thing. That's what we are focusing on. We are not allowing anybody to distract us. When the time comes, we will reveal to Nigerians the decision we have made. For now, we have not discussed Peter Obi in any of our meetings, but how the party and everyone could particularly fall in line for us to have a better understanding of where we are headed. So people that are going about media and putting out different reports, please be careful what you are doing. Don't spread and don't, you know, don't depict or try to give false hope. Please. They support, they're not support. If it's a big win, he go win. Not be, not only five people, now go win, now go vote. I don't understand this thing unless there is something else that I'm, I'm failing to get in this country. Is it just five people that will determine who wins? No, now. If everybody in their state has said we are voting this person, why should we now feel that 
whether this will support or not. Such an individual will win or not. If that person is meant to win, if the people say we are supporting you and he gets all the support, he will win. So please don't get it twisted that it must be somebody. It mo no, no, no. Please don't get it twisted at all. Mm? Don't, don't get it all messed up. Don't, don't mess it up. You're making a huge mistake. So if Peter B has become the choice of the people, whether rain fall or its sunshine, they may say they did not endorse or they endorse, they support, they did not support. We will still get what we need to get as a people. So we must be focused and determined and refuse to be distracted by some people who are hell-bent on, you know, on themselves. Let's move on. Let's continue on our stand. We have 18 presidential candidates. So please go out there, investigate, look at them. Understand, are these men of integrity? Are they putting Nigerians first? Are they putting the people first? If not, then let's know where we are headed. Let's know why we, you know, what we are doing. Let's not allow the same people over and over again to keep us down. You know, most of them, you know, they keep doing whatever they are doing. Let's rise up. Let's rise up. Let's refuse, you know, things that could possibly hold us down. Let's not allow the same people over and over again who have no outer of concern for us to be our leaders. They don't care. Like you've not heard newsflash, they don't care. They don't. So let's 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 reframe from allowing the, them to be the center of our discussion and why we make decisions that we make. Because at the end of the day, you'll be surprised that most of these people are truly sincerely, you know, caving out things for themselves and not because they care for Nigerians. So it's time to arise. Yes, it's time to arise. Anyway, my people. We have Peter Obi, we have Konkoso, we have Tinubu, we have others, Alaji Atiku Abubakar and others, okay? Please, make hail while the sun shine. Vote for the right candidates. Do not allow the same people over and over again, okay? Please, let's not allow them because they are not doing anything. They will not do anything. So why are we... Just sitting down there and thinking that miraculously things will change and all of a sudden everything will fall in place. There is time for everything you see. Okay? There is time for everything. And one of those times now is the time for election. So please let's vote right. God bless. Bye for now.